I am pumping these out like a damn machine and a well and a I'm a damn well oil great machine here. Uh, yeah, yeah. Might as well do the hell in a one. Why not? Also the three. Make that the advantage. The numbers. And then you got Nobu with her skeleton stand, so yeah. Everyone's gonna lose. But they might come in second place. Uh, I know it is. SUMMER! S oh wait, uh... What was my Tesla voice? SUMMER! No reach! The summer event season is here! Oh, the summer event season is here! Oh, I've been waiting for this moment! Last year's barbecue tournament may have ended in a draw, but this year will be different! A draw? I see you still refuse to face reality. I can't handle only one that tournament. Ho ho ho! So you remember a match last year? You oddball! I don't know what else I should have expected from a man who saw that act up at the beach wearing a suit! What a truly bizarre idea that was! What was your head? Slow down! What was in your head to make you wear such a tight suit? Were it all you could afford, it will remind you of your boyhood. Regardless, it is sad to see one so lacking in fashion sense. It almost makes me wish I could sit my old weather suit with you. <laughs> if anyone here has made foolish spot on choices in their manner of dress, it is you, since you have forgotten that you will fetch your memory. <laughs> Oh, uh, then you want a barbecue on the beach. We competed fiercely to prove which of us was a superior cook. Even as the place and some cook this in turn. <laughs> of course! I remember that much, you fool! I remember how I missed my chance to try Japanese beef! But that's only my only regret! Why, you ask? Why? Because in the end, you turned pale and had to have Miss Polatsky nurse you back to health. Or because you were a vegetarian. What a right fool you are! Though I will say that you look quite comfortable in your lap as a pillow. Some gentleman you are! <laughs> ah, do you ever shut that oversized mouth of yours, you overly litigious furball? That does not change the fact that victory is mine on paper. <laughs> what did you say? That does it! This year I prove one irrefutable fact to you on the beach! I'M THE KING OF THE BARBECUE! Ah, bring it on, you made you plenty in! The fight again. It's great to see you get along so well! <laughs> yes, I'll always choose the sarcastic asshole out. God, I forgot. Yep, I was- I regretted this part because I remembered I had to do my Edison voice. It's fun, but it hurts. <laughs> I can't see it looks that way to me. Oh, Mash, 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 maybe you covered off, uh, you stopped covering one of your eyes, you might be able to see it. Hmm? Hmm? Well, every time I have Mash, my Mash appears in my videos, which is off, considering he's an FGO, I always keep roasting her, I don't know why. Then again, he is the third real eggplant, so yeah. But then, you might be right. This may sound, well, third real cockblock. <laughs> as, as, they, this, as a lot of people call her. Like, there's two sides of people feel mash. Either they uh, either they want love her and want to protect her, or they, or she's big to them, or to other people she's basically a third wheel. Yeah, I mean, guess what the option is. They may sound upset, but it's not enough that they come to blow. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> Uh. Stop that! What do you two think you're doing? Just because it's summer doesn't mean anything goes. How many times do I have to tell you to use your words, not your weapon? But Helena, beating people up is fun. Like two people, fisty cups, buy, the winner buys the loser a drink. Like that's how it goes. It's a classic, it makes everyone happy. You two should be ashamed of yourselves, corn like children. If that's how you'll behave, then you can take it outside. 
listen, you say you use the words, but then again, you have an alien or a mod at your back and call. I think, just be, you, you can use your words, because you, you say use your words, because you can afford to do that, okay, Helen, let me tell you that. Because if they disagree with your words, you just blow them up with the spaceship. It's not your weapons, it's theirs. I see what you're going, Helena. <laughs> I'm mostly Helena for no reason. I'm just bored. <laughs> but don't take that to mean it's okay to fight. Wait, she's rushing, you see? Should I do an action? No, no, no. I shouldn't, no. It's okay to fight as long as you do it outdoors, you hear? Um, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Perhaps the summer heat has gotten to me. Perhaps the summer heat has gotten to me. Should I even do- Should I repeat them each time when they have to speak at the same time? Or maybe- Or sh what should I do? Uh, or maybe I should just use my normal voice. Screw it, I'm using my normal voice. When it's just two of them talking at once. Because I am not going to try and combine them. That's more like it. Look how good boy you are. I'm sorry I had to see that. I'll have to go get myself some time to cool down. <laughs> oh wait, no! That was Edison just talking there, but it had both of them. Oh. Why? I should just look at the people who are glowing. I'm an idiot. You know, I just realized something. Tesla and Edison may hate each other, but two can agree on one thing. It's just simping towards Helena. <laughs> Oh, what a skilled mediator you are, Helena. The moment you glared at them, they turned meek as little kittens. Kittens, huh? Is that some form of modern slang? But they are like a couple of cute kittens. I see you keep them cooling them in the summer, Helena. No wonder you're everyone's my, er, big sister. The wrong with being called, uh... Well, fair enough, uh, Emmy is kind of the mother of Caldea. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my. I see you keep them cooling them in the summer, Helena. Yes, I do. Guess I'm just not mentally young enough to run around with all these youngsters anymore. Compared to most servants, I live a very long life. So if anything, I feel like Granny. You're a grandmotherly girl. You're a girl who's crap. <laughs> I know you wouldn't think to, to look at me, but I really am in a way. Uh huh. Sure you are. I find that hard to believe. I mean, listen. When it comes to servants, like. Some chunks of servants, age is practically meaningless at this point. Yeah? Mentally young. You still do look young, though. Could it be that you still retain all your memories from when you were alive? You got it. I remember everything from my life, including my old age, as if I never died. So then, your servant form is the real hell in the Blatsky, from when you were at the end of your life. There is. But then how come you don't look your age? <laughs> Good question, you see. It was because the Wii O specifically asked for a body pillow of me, and that would sell if she was old. Well, if it was old, now would it? Hmm. Listen, when it comes to this, always just assume plot. Plot with big giant quotations. <laughs> don't heroes always materialize in the plot? Not necessarily, I think they materialize from when they're the most famous, like, at the most famous point in their life. Because, for example, uh, uh, Moriarty still isn't... Moriarty's still old, well, in his old age, despite, uh, because that's uh, when he was in his uh, most well-remembered. Uh, it's because uh, it was during the stories of uh, Sherlock and Moriarty, and... Moriarty was older. Keep that in mind. So I don't think it's a prime. It's uh, when people know them the best. I believe that's the case. Well, uh, yes and no. Did I never tell you before that this is how I always looked? I put on... I hear something. Put on the granny form whenever I went out in public, but in private I usually look like this. I mean, you use magecraft, isn't that? Yep, and I'm pretty sure I was in my prime and in my twilight years. Well, I mean, when you have magic powers, you don't really have to worry about that kind of stuff. It gets weird. Let me tell you that. Ah, fuck, I have set my eye. Ah. 
hell was that? There's not in here that's floating around. Nothing in here. Well, that disappeared. Oh, sorry. I put a lot of energy into writing my book, though I was frustrated almost all the time about how I couldn't manage to complete it. Ah, it's in my nose. Oops. <laughs> yeah, I've been trying to be all vague about my mental age, and now I've just come out and said it. <laughs> well, I guess it's simplest to just say that I'm a lot older than I look. Yeah, that makes sense. Really? Don't find out how to believe. <laughs> oh. I don't, I don't know, we play differently. Ooh, really? Ooh, I, <laughs> I see. Thanks, I'll take that as a compliment. Ah, oh, da oh. Good day, everyone. I just saw Mr. Edison and Mr. Tesla hang their heads in chain out in the hallway. <laughs> their eagle uh, ejected them. <laughs> I presume once again that Madame Blavatsky has succeeded in putting in pay to one of her petty or one of her petty feuds. And I could see that from there the topic turned to a seemingly unflappable calm. In turn she went on to reveal quite a lot of uh, fuck's sake. It turns you on on to reveal quite on her own that she is much older in mind than she is in body. Furthermore... Oh no, they're calling her. You, you really are amazing, Holmes. I can't believe you picked all that up from a cursory glance. That's very kind of you, Miss Quilight. Well, I'm afraid I'm merely having to overhear your conversation. Now, there is a real problem. There's a problem? There is indeed. After all, Serbian film, you said yourself. What she claims is difficult to credit, is it not? That while she may possess a calm and grown-up demeanor, seeing her as an old woman, even if only in mind, is something you cannot do. No, I can't. You get, does give up a, a sisterly vibe, though. Why, why are you stopping on to mother said? There you have it, Madame Blavatsky. He simply does not believe you. No, I, I, be I believe him. Mr. Holmes. There are some things one should never, ever say. Um... Helena, what happened? In, what's happening to you? Oh, no, my, 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 it seems I've truly stepped in on it this time. How terribly foolish. Ah, uh, would you look at that? I have urgent business far from here and I must attend that post haste. <laughs> so I leave you two to deal with Madame Vlatsky, okay? Good day. Ah. <laughs> uh, no, home fair, Holmes, no fair. Wait, is she gonna blow up? <laughs> Uh, get back here, hope you dickhead! <laughs> you don't believe me? No, I believe you. You don't believe me. You don't trust me. No, no, come down, Helena. Come down. You don't believe me. You don't trust me. You think I'm a fake, a phony, a fraud. I think you're taking this a bit too far, Helena. This isn't what we mean. <laughs> Is that what you think of me? Is that how you see me? Almost instinctively. <laughs> Please calm down, Helena. I don't know why Holmes is so strangely adamant about that. Holmes is just probably trying to piss her off and just view it from a distance. Like, oh, this is gonna be fun. Like, he's that kind of asshole. You know how it's like. There it is. Oh my. Except I never said he doesn't trust you. Just said he had to express his surprise. I'm sorry, Helena. I do believe you. I promise. indistinctly. I swear on, when I, I just, I just said moments indistinctly, even though they don't, that's not actually what it is. Like, I'd be the kind of person to read a script and say, uh, when it says exit scene at the bottom, I say exit scene. <laughs> <laughs> Elena? She can't hear you anymore. <sighs> Indeed, don't believe me, don't trust me, fake, phony, fraud. These words remind her of a painful past. They still cut deep in me. Especially, especially when spoken by right for those for whom she feels great affection. Poor thing. She must be fussing back to her the Society for Civic Research. Used to revile her when she was alive. 
As far as Miss Blavatsky is concerned, those words are nothing less than a cruel and than a curse. In Eastern terms, they are akin to poking a sleeping dragon. Essentially, whenever she feels something that reminds her of, her SP of the SPR, she is immediately overwhelmed. Uh huh. Thank you both for explaining what's going on. So then, Helena must have already suffered from those memories when Senpai mentioned that earlier. Indeed, and then Sherlock Holmes came and dealt the final blow. He is nothing if not skilled in the art of psychological warfare. He's just an asshole, that's what he is. Thus, he suffered not just one such blow, but two. Oh, oh wait, no, I'm, I'm still a Tesla, I'm an idiot. Indeed, two is far greater than one. Be <laughs> Bubbles indistinctly. <laughs> Is it over? No, not yet. Here it comes. Wow. Wow. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, fucking music. God damn. <laughs> That's how it is, huh? Fine, you want me to call me a fraud? I'm a fraud, I'm a just and a conjurer. <laughs> you say there's no such thing as that, but fine, I'm sure there isn't. Yep, she broke down. She lost it. <laughs> oh my. Please calm down, I didn't say anything about a... <laughs> calm down, Elena. <laughs> It's not like that anyone else in the world has any idea what I can see in here. <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking having a temper tantrum. <laughs> yep, nervous breakdown. Thinks he's experiencing a complete nervous breakdown. <laughs> I was afraid this might happen. It does not often seem to become so completely overwhelmed and breaks down, but it has happened before. God, she is a wonderful woman, full of pride and intelligence and abundance. But as with any young person, she can only take so much. <sighs> this is what generally happens when she is pushed beyond her limits. And regretfully, we haven't helped matters by depending on her so much. <sighs> we certainly haven't. I feel terrible for my partners. <sighs> Come to think of it, where did that dear stalker have this detective disappear to? <sighs> I'm gonna kick his ass. <laughs> If he had stuck his pipe where it didn't belong, this would have never happened. Is that any is that an innuendo? <laughs> uh, you're right, this is entirely his fault. Where does Sigerson slash Holmes get off to? I'll try searching for him with my radio ways. Damn, no luck. Curse it Holmes. He must have long since made himself scarce. I hate that I suppose we have no choice. You and I have seen this sad sight before. Given the circumstances, it falls to us to set matters right, much as we once did in life. I don't recall cooperating with you in any prior capacity. You may be changing, Clebian, but for now, I will humor you and your delusions. We do indeed have no choice but to join forces and speak to her. Indeed! <laughs> Helena! Helena! What is it? You must not get carried away. You must not let yourself become isolated. This isn't, isn't that? Yes, that is what you once told us. There are indeed things in the world that can not be reached or seen. It is true. Not everyone can see them, nor can everyone reach them. You don't need to bear the brunt of every criticism slung your way in silence, but you don't have to respond with anger either. <coughs> Isn't that right? <coughs> Besides, it pains me deeply to see you so upset, my lady. <coughs> Naturally, that goes for me as well. What nothing more than you for you to them What nothing more than for you to be happy? It's true. I'm really sorry if I upset you. I don't think you had anything to apologize for, Senpai. Good, we're almost there. The spit will do it. And 
know that, but we've gone so as far as conventional methods can take us. We need something else that can take our mind off things. <sighs> yes, yes, you're right. What else could we... Hmm? What's the poster there? <sighs> Let's see. I find my strongest singularity. <sighs> Get ready to rev your summer engines in the Ishtar Cup. A race, huh? That's it, a race! By the way, Mr. Fotsky, now that it's summer, what would you say to taking part in a race? A race? There's nothing like a good race! Once you feel the wind blowing through your hair, you can forget all your troubles. Indeed, there is joy, there's nothing like a good race. For once, I will do wholeheartedly. And why wouldn't you? For one thing, they also make great movies! Indeed, I'm especially partial to the Thunder Don't Wally. It's the best. Ha ha ha! Has your skin tight suit cut off the circulation to your brain? And we're no best kind of race is a cannonball like one. What was that? Uh, please try and stay calm, you two. You were doing really well. I think I've drank nearly a liter in the last few videos. Well, four. Thanks for helping me snap out of it, guys. Two, mass, sure being built. I should know better than to fly off the handle like that at my age. I'm uh, so embarrassed. Just forget everything you saw here, okay? Anyone can break down. There's nothing wrong with that. Will do. Already done. Thanks. Now, what's this about a race? Wait, sir. Yeah, might not hurt to do something like that for a change of pace. Might even be a good way to blow up some steam. Excellent! <sighs> Agree. Besides, summer only comes once a year. You have every right to enjoy yourself now and then. <sighs> yeah, you're right. Okay, we'll do it. And there's no time like the present. Mahatma! Yes! <laughs> oh, I got fucking power. What the change? <laughs> well then! What do you think? I tried kids in my class so I'd have a more 21st century summer book. No, no, go back. Go back, go back. Uh, as soon as he doesn't look 21st century to me. Let me show you his class. He's not your <laughs> ass. I didn't know we could change classes so easily. Wait, hold on, this can't be right! <laughs> Okay, no need to just help with these sorts of events. Not that I would expect a mangy plebeian like you to know that, of course. <sighs> oh, fuck! Uh, that was unexpected. Uh, now let's see. Hmm? Looks like you need a partner for this race. Ah, uh, man, now what am I gonna do? I already have to change my class. <laughs> but my. The Kermauer wheel is only big enough for one. The wall lab I use for a cast that can carry more than one person at a time, but... <laughs> Not to worry, we are the ones who suggest this race to you in the first place. Not to leave you have our full cooperation. <laughs> Precisely. There may be plenty of world spirits more powerful, but there are none who could prepare to a custom vehicle nearly so quickly as the two of us. <laughs> Could be far, you know. Not too sure about that. Wait then, we have no time to waste. We shall build a support of direct current Thunderdome at once. Not a bad day. I always should have mentioned Plebeian, but I'm afraid we shall call it the supporting alternate current Thunderdome. <laughs> direct current! <laughs> alternate current. <laughs> what about the support of DCAC Thunderdome? I'm trying to... I viewed in there just last time. I swear I meant to do it. And which says why? Done. Wait, okay, then let's have ourselves a great race. Also, DCAC. You missed a chance called Ace. The ACDC Thunderdome. You missed it. Will do. Damn it. I... 
I did the thing with the Sazerod one. Like, I viewed in the thing. What did I do this time? I did something. I tapped the wrong place? No, I tapped different places. Ugh, anyways, anyways. Uh, we'll see you next time at the event. Ah, uh, the different parts of the event. Ugh, besides what I was going to talk about is already lost on me. Uh, yeah. That's enough for this sub part, I assume. Yeah, I'm call I'll call it a sub part. Why not? Uh, yeah. Y'all have a good day out there, stay safe, and protect yourself from the virus. See ya.